Um, let me do that again. Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm sure that you've all been anxiously awaiting an update on Ruby's build. Um, progress has been a little bit slower than I would have liked it, but um, given that I don't have any construction experience, I'm just figuring all this out on the fly. Um, I think we're doing okay overall. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some clips, a little bit of updates on what I've been up to. If you don't, I will link my Instagram below, so if you want to keep up with me a little bit more on a daily level, I post stuff there all the time about Ruby as well as hiking and ranch life and all that good stuff. If this is your first time on my channel, I'll just say a quick hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Elle, this is Ruby, my 2014 Subaru Forester. I'm currently doing a full uh, rebuild. Um, to help me be in here full time. Um, if you want to check out my original build that I was in for about, let's see, seven or eight months of the past year, um, I'll link that down below. You can check that out for a little walkthrough. Yeah. So for today, this is going to be less of a how-to video and more of just an update and kind of taking you through the sometimes annoying process of learning how to do all of this on the fly. Um, but there are some good bits and pieces, so if you're working on your own build, you might get some tips, tricks, ideas, stuff like that. If you are working on your own build, definitely comment, let me know what you're up to. I'd love to check out your progress as well. And if you're just here for the ride, thanks for watching. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. In these first shots, I'm working on the frame piece for this side shelving unit here. Um, I wanted a nice solid base to screw into to help secure the shelf. Um, especially since I can't really anchor it into the sidewall. Um, I wanted a, a bottom piece down below to make sure it's nice and secure. So I borrowed my coworker's jigsaw, which was super helpful to get all of these weird angles um, so that it would contour to the sides of the car and here. <laughs> smoothing this out a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's all going to be covered up anyway, but still wanted to just get some of those little snag spots off of there so it's not grabbing into anything else. Answer the question that I know is on everyone's minds, and no, I still do not have a cordless drill. Please buy me one. <laughs> um, I've done a kind of stupid amount of stuff in this car with just a screwdriver, um, but I don't know. Maybe that's a good thing. Use what you have, right? Um, I borrowed a friend's cordless drill, but unfortunately she has left the ranch, so I'm back to screwdrivers or trying to find a really, really long extension cord to come out to the parking lot. So if you do actually want to help me buy a drill, I'm going to leave my Venmo and Cash App information down below. Um, there's a few things that are definitely out of my budget right now that would really make this build a lot easier, such as a drill and a couple other things. Um, so if you'd enjoy these videos and you've been following along for a while and you're able to support um, in that way, I would really appreciate any donations. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here I'm adding the legs onto the base piece to support the shelf. I ended up removing these later, but it was still helpful to be able to check the height and the fit of the shelf. Doing these things alone and not having somebody to hold things up for you can make for some challenges like this. sketch with measurements for the side panel of the shelf unit. Okay, I 
I've got my template drawn on here. Um, I'm about to take the jigsaw out and get it cut. I'm feeling a little bit nervous because this was like, I don't know, a $36, something like that piece of plywood and I really don't want to mess it up and have to buy another one, but I checked my template and all my measurements two, three, four times, so hopefully it all works out and I will get back to you in a few minutes. We'll see how it fits. time but um, I basically just kind of fitted everything in there measured from the bottom up because I know this is like the straightest cut because there's a bunch of weird things um, just kind of made a line to line this up with traced out where I'm gonna screw it in hopefully this works out okay shelf in. Feeling pretty good about it. Um, using just the shelf brackets was super easy. I think it'll work fine. I don't plan to put anything super heavy up here anyway. Any heavier items will be kind of down below or even in my existing cargo storage. So I think this will work great. Um, I'm really excited. I was feeling kind of discouraged the last couple days so it's nice to get something done. Um, the next step is going to be mapping out where I want to cut out cubby holes from here. So I'll probably have like two up here, a big one down here that reaches back into that space, and then maybe another one over here. Um, but I'm also going to be probably putting a little drawer into here, just a really skinny one um, for like spices or something for easy access while I'm cooking. And then I might have a little reach in space back here as well. So. Still kind of finalizing those details, but um, here in the next few days I'll probably start cutting those out. Um, I need to sand and stain this whole thing too. Um, so yeah, that's about where I'm at for now. It's here. The little insulation for my car arrived in this giant fluffy box, so let's check it out.
So I wanted wool because, um, first of all, it's just really efficient for temperature um, and insulation, but also it's totally natural. Um, this company, Havlock, Havlock, however you say it, um, they don't add like any chemicals or anything to the material. This is just straight wool, um, sheep's wool. So um, I, you know, I can touch it on like fiberglass insulation. Um, I don't have to worry about breathing in any weird chemicals or anything. So um, I'm really excited about that, and hopefully, hopefully this one box will be enough. Um, I think it will. It's quite a bit, but <laughs> I'm gonna do my ceiling, and then I'll also just kind of pull some of this apart like that and stuff it into all those little nooks and crannies in the car. So. Super excited. so much for watching today if you're working on your own build I would love to see your progress so comment below if you have your own channel or Instagram or anything I love sharing ideas with people um, if you're just following along for fun thanks for being here I appreciate all the support make sure you like and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and I'll also drop my Instagram and my website if you want to learn a little bit more about me and uh, my next video coming up hopefully here pretty soon is going to be all about these awesome window coverings that I made myself. Um, so if you want to see how I did that, get some ideas for your own builds, um, definitely keep an eye out for that. So I'll see you next time.